everyone. Thanks for checking into the pit stop. This is our recap for Amazing Race 36, episode four, Those Who Wander Are Not Lost. And I know I say this every week, but I'm so excited about today's recap because we have a full house, a full panel yet again to talk about this episode. And it's also a very special birthday. But before we introduce the birthday boy and his amazing wife, I would like to introduce one of my dear besties, the winner of Amazing Race season 26, the queen, Laura Pearson. Hey, Laura. I love, I want that to be like my entrance to everything. Is that possible? Your wish is my command. I can do it for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Before we dive into this episode, I have to make a special introduction. To help me with this special introduction, I have a few special guests who wanted to say hello. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Leo. We have some very special people who wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Hey, Leo. I want to wish you a happy birthday, my friend. I hope all is going well and keep the pictures posted because I love watching all the cool antics you guys are getting in and how the kid is growing. Uh, I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day and uh, keep on trucking. Happy birthday, Leo. We love you and miss you over here. Me and Riley, she's with me right now because from nine to six, she isn't my kid. But you know what I mean. So hope to see you guys soon. Hey, what's going on, Leo? Just want to say happy birthday for me and my dad. You know, he's not too tech savvy, uh, but we both want to let you know that we're thinking about you and congratulations to you and Alana on the second baby. That's super exciting. Congratulations. And I hope you all have been doing well. If you ever need anything for me here in Kentucky, just know I'm always a phone call away. Uh, happy birthday and have a good one, brother. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We love you. We love you. We miss you. Happy birthday, Leo. I'm really glad that we met over the race. Um, you're one of the funniest and coolest guys I know, so I hope you have a really good birthday. Uh, I gotta come to Oregon and gotta hang out sometime soon. Happy birthday, Leo! I miss you so much, and I hope you're having an amazing day. Um, can't wait for another amazing race reunion with you. Hey, Leo, it's Gary all the way out from Oslo, Norway. Happy birthday. Can't wait to see you and the baby. Get you and Alana out to a ghost investigation. Looking forward to seeing y'all again. We need to get a reunion going. Happy birthday again. Happy birthday, Leo. Happy birthday, Leo. We are hoping you have the most exciting and wonderful and dog-filled birthday ever. Happy birthday. Bye. <laughs> Leo, happy birthday, but this message ain't for you. Alana, Alana, this is day. This is day. You wish him a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Leo. Happy birthday. I love you. And I can't wait to see what happens in the year ahead. I just love our cast. They're amazing people. And I wanted to do something special for Leo. But before we welcome them in, I got to add Kayla. <laughs> <laughs> hey, queen. Hi. <laughs> Hi, baby. You. Oh, I miss you. I want to like squeegee. I know. I wish we were all in person. Yes, on a cruise. Yes. I also love that you're suit. wearing green, Kayla. G great minds think alike. <laughs> I'm like barely held together, but it's fine. <laughs> well, let's welcome in the green team, Leo and Alana. Hey, guys. Hey, birthday king. <laughs> That was amazing. I didn't know. Oh, well, happy birthday, Leo. <laughs> yeah, what a what a great uh, little thing. <laughs> How are you two doing and what's what's latest? Well, I've hit middle age. Yeah. Uh, this is his presidential birthday. He can now run for president. You can and write like, me in. Like, let's do it. Leo for president. I know. What could go wrong? <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, uh, we're good. We've got uh, Kit just turned two. Uh huh. Uh, and Alana's got we. I'm cooking a second one a, coming in July. Inside, so yeah, oh my God. you didn't know. <laughs> Probably did, but. Well, Frankie talked about it. He's That's in the true. Loop. Yeah, yeah he knows. Yeah. Yeah. We're yeah. just trying to get ready for what is about to happen to our lives, which is very exciting and a little intimidating. <laughs> uh, we got some deep cuts in that montage, like some people I haven't heard from in a minute. Yeah. Guys. No. Well done. Well, I cannot wait to hear all of your thoughts about this week's episode. And we will have Team Double Dutch, Michelle and Sean, joining us at the end of this recap. So stay tuned for that. 
But let's just dive right in. You know, at the beginning of this episode, teams are paragliding into Medellin, Colombia. Um, I, I saw there were some hit or miss uh, opinions about this intro, which I was actually kind of surprised by. But <laughs> Kayla, tell me, what do you think about the teams paragliding into this leg of the race? So, I mean, I definitely thought it was cool. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> like, uh, like the fact that everyone got to do it, like both partners is like really mm-hmm. cool. I don't know. I guess I just like didn't understand like why it wasn't put in the middle of right. the leg. But like just from an experience standpoint, I'm glad that both teammates got to do it. Yeah, I kind of liked that it was like a a break from the race because I think there's so many moments where viewers don't get to see like breaks in the race where people are just being people. It's not even like in a race mode. So I thought it was kind of a refreshing start. And I I watched a recap. I think it was with Danny from Danny and Angie. And he talked about how he thinks that the groups were supposed to leave in their departure groups from the paragliding, Mm -hmm. but because the weather was so bad, they almost didn't get to do it. So they just kind of threw all the teams off at Mm -hmm. once. And then had the departure groups at the base of the mountain. What did uh, Laura, what did you think about the paragliding? I thought it was cool. I felt like it was a unique way to start off the episode. I don't know if they, you know, had to pivot with producing or why they did it there, but I just thought it was actually kind of a cool way as a viewer to start off watching it. It kind of like, I mean, James, you and I talked about this a couple weekends ago. Like it's hard for me sometimes to watch the race because it gives me such these like feels that I mean that that is just so epic that they yeah. all were able to do something like that. I wanted to do I was jealous like I wanted to paraglide and I wanted to be in a helicopter. Those were like the two things that I was like when else do you get we to do that? Sort of thought we'd yeah be yeah. able to jump out of something. Yeah. I did not want to jump out of an airplane, but like the idea of like starting on a flat surface and then going out yeah, into I mean, high, it just sound yeah. So I, it was like for I was jealous but yeah, it was I don't, con- I don't know. It's like, this is a part of the race. I wanted there to be a little bit more intensity. Yeah. I don't, I don't mind it at all. I mean, it's like just kind of an introduction to the place. And I feel like, you know, like I, as a viewer, it didn't bother me, I guess is what I, I would say. It makes sense that they were it supposed to start in their like little groups and then they did it. Like that explains the sort of like missing piece of like, why are they all just like having fun? Like they don't want <laughs> for you to have fun. They're not like there to produce good experiences for us. They're there to produce good experiences for the viewers. So it was like. It reminds me <laughs> almost of one of the things where like when we went to um, um, the Amazon and Chief Pinon, uh, yeah. <laughs> got the thing out of the tree. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the blowjar. Like, uh, I mean, the one thing about that is I wish we could have actually tried to do that, right? And yeah. that was like part of the challenge and we would have all looked ridiculous. My right? memory is that Leo reached for it. Yeah, yeah. We, <laughs> like, like they would have had to have us try to shoot something like six feet away. But <laughs> uh, that blow dart. <laughs> even so, it's like, it's just like, you know, a chance to see yeah, something cool. that's part of the culture. And it doesn't so much bother me that it wasn't like part of the competition. What I thought was interesting is it was, I think it was Leticia that was having issues of like, I'm so uncomfortable. This is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. And, but at the same time, she's like, I have three kids and I really want to be able to show my kids I can do anything and that their mom's amazing. She's a superhero. But then on the flip side, Sean, who literally just a week ago, couldn't even walk down the side of a yeah. mountain. He seemed totally unfazed by the paragliding. I would have yeah. been freaking out. Yeah, he was like, I think it was just so beautiful that I like, my mind kind of forgot like, oh, I'm afraid. And then I kind of thought about it. I'm like, maybe it's because like his feet weren't on the ground. Yeah. I don't know. This I think cool. as a person who's afraid of heights, I think there's a real tangible difference between starting on flat ground and having to jump. Like right. off the jump. I think it's yeah. once you've been but through, I want to hear, yeah. once you've been to the edge. Once you've <laughs> been through like the most <laughs> terrifying possible experience of being on a hill uh with, that is a bit muddy, <laughs> then after that, everything else is just like eating a birthday cake. I think also like James is afraid of heights and you just like leaped off the side of that building, no problem. So I wonder if there's just a little bit of race adrenaline that kicks in, like gotta do it now. Maybe Bye. Michelle gave you a little talking to that's after true. the hill incident. Oh, that's probably she probably whipped like, his ass and just shaved it and won't be a little bit. <laughs> Laura. I was look, I was really impressed. I feel like the amazing race, honestly, this is one thing I love about the show is it gets 
all of us out of our comfort zones and it forces us to face our fear. And it's like, what are you willing to do to win? Like, are you willing to jump off the side of a bridge? Are you willing to bungee jump? Are you willing to walk down the side of a mountain? Like, what's your limit? So I do love these like real human moments. And I thought it was cool that he overcame his fear. And apparently it sounds like he's gone skydiving since. We'll have to ask you when they're on the on the recap. What? But yeah, it, it sounds like he really on that he's been on a hill since. Yeah. What <laughs> yeah, yep. has he gone down a mountain since? He whipped his ass. We all know. <laughs> Leo, you're right. <laughs> well, the teams left in their 15-minute departure groups, and they had to go to La Meseta to find their next clue. And this was the detour of the episode, which we'll get into it, but was an incredibly unbalanced detour for this leg of the race. But for this detour, teams had to choose between Dance Vibe or Wall Scribe. In Dance Vibe, teams had to perform a 30-second breakdance routine in order to receive their next clue. In Wall Scribe, teams had to then solve a rebus puzzle in order to receive their next clue from a local artist. If we were all on this season, I'll start with you, Kayla. What do you think you and Raquel would be doing? Wall Scribe or Dance Vibe? You already know Wall Scribe. Dancing, yep. any of that is my literal worst nightmare. I saw like the break dancing part and I was like, oh God, no. Like, oh my God, no. I would have been absolutely mortified. Like immediately when I saw that, like let's say we picked it on accident, like we didn't know it was dancing or whatever. I'd be like, Raquel, we got we're jumping ship <laughs> immediately. Like immediately. <laughs> like no chances, no even hesitation. We're doing the wall scribe for sure. <laughs> Yeah, I, I Leo and Alana, I'm assuming you guys would do the oh, same. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> always the like word puzzle challenge. Always. Yeah, dancing confuses me. <laughs> <laughs> I just have no rhythm. Leo actually has really rhythm, good rhythm. Way more like but something doesn't translate yeah. though. I have the rhythm, I can do physical stuff, but then it's just combined. It's like it's the really... memorization. Like it's yeah, like if I, 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 okay, I guess I have rhythm so like hard. on my own, but if I'm having to like recreate a rhythm that someone else like put steps to, like it's just something jumbles in my brain and it's just like it's it's, it's repulsive. It's awful. It's so, it would be so embarrassing. They'd be like, get this white girl out of here. <laughs> are you feeling the same, Laura? Are you puzzle or dance? Well, the thing is, I don't mind the dancing as much, but that dancing did not look easy. And you know, on the Amazing Race, sometimes it is like the littlest thing that you don't do with dancing and you're screwed. That while, as I was watching, I'm like, that was so easy. Yeah. Mm, yeah. That, yeah. For everyone. Yeah, true. What I I like about wall scribe and that type of challenge is there's one, there's one right answer. And so with like one of the hardest things about the race is you don't know what matters. And so with dancing, I would not know like what to focus on learning. Yeah. Um, Whereas with wall scribe, you don't, you just don't have that element. Right. Right. Because with the dancing, they did kind of say like, like you're trying to stay on beat. Right. right. Like it wasn't necessarily like you got every foot movement. Right. right. Yeah. And it was clear that um, some of the teams got clues without being perfect. I know. I was like, no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we sucked. I was like, oh, they're never going to give it. And then they did. I'm like, yeah. Like, yeah, what are you being judged on? I swear, producers got lazy. They were like, these people really. No, really I think the producers were like, people are moving to through their all day. We're going to be here till tomorrow. Yeah. I feel like the producers were like, oh shit, this is an imbalanced detour. Be a little Again. bit more lenient on the judging and get people through. And like, but I don't know if they ever, I actually don't know if they ever put their thumb on the scale that much, but I was like, it is clear that there is some, like, whatever, when you like, sometimes. Yeah. Right. And you like, watch the video, and someone would be like, oh, not even on the beat with the <laughs> final beat. And then they get the clue, and you were like, well, at first, I didn't realize that there's a moment where, like, one partner kind of has their moment at the end, and then it switches to the other one. doing. I think it was the pilots who did it first. I was like, why is he just standing there with his arms closed? I'm like, did you just give up? And then it was like, oh, then it was his turn to hit his, like, three beats. And then, like, they both – I was like, oh, my God, that was so funny because I thought he just, like, gave up. Like, Stop dancing. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Will would have argued to do dance because, obviously, 100%. that's in his okay. wheelhouse. But I think I would be like, Will, there's so many other variables, and I think you see this on the the race you have to wait while the other teams perform where i feel yeah. like the other one you just have to wait to give an answer but these this is a 30 second routine so it's going to be a little bit of a longer wait and plus uh, wheelhouse more like wheelhouse i like that leo wheelhouse. Um, <laughs> but what also with the the judging of the dance i don't know if you picked up on this on our season y'all when we did mm-hmm. the berlin the, the the dancing ducks or whatever and 
we had to perform and I was so worried that we had to memorize verbatim the German words, but it really was we were just being judged on the performance. They wanted more energy. They wanted to smile. They wanted oh. to have fun with it. Yeah. 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 So there's a little sure. bit of a learning curve. Like you don't have to obviously have the technical moves down as long as you're performing perform but i think also when you do dance tests don't judge yourself like we saw this last last mm -hmm. season with um steve and anna lee when steve had to do the river dance i was thinking and of the, river he, dance. the yeah. moment he messed up a move he took himself out of the judging and i'm like well now you're gonna get a no so if you mess up a dance move just power through it and keep smiling and do a performance because you mm -hmm. never know they might pass you and say yeah you're good to go same kind of situation happened on our season with Arun. You know, I think like the language barrier was like the Donald has your trousers or whatever. I didn't do that one, thank God. Oh, but like yeah. his whole thing, when he like reflected back on it, it was, I was so worried that like with my accent and stuff, I wasn't like doing it right. He goes, so I like, I wasn't in the, hey, I just need to perform mode. He goes, once I realized like, I just need to have fun with it and they just want to see that I'm trying, then like he got passed, you know? Yeah. So, but like on the flip side with the dancing of like, you know, there's, there's a lot of room for like, okay, that passed. Um, whereas like, this is like one phrase. It's yeah, funny, yeah, the yeah. whole mirror thing, because in my mind, I was thinking like we or I too. Like, does that make sense? Like, you know, world of small mm -hmm. like, yeah. yeah, thing? Because yeah, yeah. it's like in my head, like we'd both be looking That's in the fair. mirror. Yeah. So I'd be like, oh, we, us smaller than we think or like smaller than I think. So that's like a hard, that would be a hard one to kind For of you. switch around be like, oh shit, it's you. But, so here's the problem with that. I feel like if they'd had to do something crazy, like run up and down the escalators between guessing then, but you could have just stood there and said, Thank all you. okay, that's that was another one that I did not you like. Just, I'm like, so you could just stand guessing. there. And yeah, yeah. I, I didn't, I, I'm glad you brought that up. Cause I would have forgotten about it. I was like, they literally just stood there and guessed like five different things. Like, right. I, yeah, they should have had to like run back down. Like you had, right, you, you had, had to, one try, and then, and then you, had you had to, to go do up something and walk down the yeah, building. Yeah, yeah. Again. Especially what happened? Was, like, especially what happened to the was, race? Like, yeah, there was, a cool, <laughs> there was a cool step for them to do. Like they could have run up and down the escalators, or had to ride and wait up and do down ten push-ups. Right, so whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like yeah, that doesn't cost money. You don't need to try. Just like. I don't know. Do a do a burpee, yeah. <laughs> but it did seem it's funny because like it did seem like this has been a lot of like on foot running stuff. Like every single person yeah. is making a comment about it. Like oh, like I'm about to be doing a lot of running. Oh, on foot. Oh, we're running again. Yeah. Like maybe they were trying to give them a break. <laughs> no, yeah. no breaks. Maybe well, no breaks allowed. <laughs> it said in the clue that they couldn't run up the escalator as well, which I was shocked no one ran because even though they tell us to do certain things like i feel like the majority of us are like fuck it i'm running <laughs> um, but it was like everyone was just standing were, there like, they were scared i mean you read your clue and you're like if i even appear to be running i'm gonna get in trouble like now yeah, yeah. Good it's like it's so <laughs> literal <laughs> well laura we we lost it's true <laughs> yeah. Yeah. i would have ran my ass up there yeah. so people should do what you i would have screamed fire so that everyone <laughs> away, yeah. and i would have ran and they would have been like rules and you would have been like bye <laughs> like, i don't understand oh <laughs> my god <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, maybe if they would have added some extra element to that Rebus puzzle, it probably would have given it a little bit more of a balance. But all in all, very unbalanced detour. I mean, we saw that in with Spanish. Like, yeah, it was really, it was just like yeah, the flag versus it. balloon detour. I feel like the season has been, uh, yeah, not good. With that, <laughs> love <the> panel <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, oh, Nan. Speaking anyway, of flannel dynamic, uh, <laughs> Kayla, you said something about maybe they were running too much. What I think we need to remember is always be asking, how does this benefit me, the viewer, right? Great. I don't care if they're running too much. <laughs> I don't have to watch that shit. <laughs> okay, can I ask can one question? Yes. Can um, I, I just have to, okay. Did anyone notice how so many of like the male, female couples, they were, only had one backpack? Yes, no. I've been noting that this season. What so is that? that is, are they sharing a backpack? Yeah. Where yeah. are the girls' backpacks? And I how is it possible? Our, our season, season, a lot of people did. Oh, she did girls that. Are are learning, that she did kind of makeup. Yeah, yeah, I said that to Leo. I literally was like, I was like, um, Leticia, Leticia and Rod's backpack yes. is half makeup. 
because she looks so good. But the bag I mean, is like this small. I know. I like, it's all like two clothes, like two shirts. I'm, I'm just so confused. Say, yeah, yeah. Maybe it just looks smaller because Rod is like so really massive good. that it's like pro- like on, like proportion of his body to backpack. It, like on me, it should look like my whole body. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think the issue is is obviously this season. The show has been on for 36 seasons. They're about to film 37. It's been on 20 plus years. People who watch the show and know the show are getting smarter as a viewer to know. And especially if they watch recaps, like Danny's watched so many recaps to prepare, you know that you really only need one backpack. I mean, Hung and Chi did that on our season and they literally only had like a thing of protein and like one or two outfits each yeah. for the and whole thing. And are consolidated too. Like yes. during like, yeah, like the second or third episode. Like it was, cause it makes sense. You, it slows you down. You need multiple pairs of shoes. Yeah. No. Like, people probably stink like ass. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's like, you know, that's your choice. To win a million dollars, you're going to stink stinky. and you're going to have wet feet. It's like, going to be stinky I, if I like, win a million dollars. You and I had extra shoes. We had like enough clothes. I did too. Like, clothes. Like, and I had layers. Clothes. Yeah. We were so, so that, good. So oh, that was the so biggest cold. thing is like, I wonder if they knew they were doing South America and that is it. Uh, because mm-hmm. our, my whole thought process mm-hmm. on a backpack is on a normal season of Amazing Race, you're not staying in one climate. So exactly. you have to have a backpack in my version, in my head of Amazing Race because of winter clothes. Yeah, Mm -hmm. like I'm not just wearing the clothes on my back. Like I remember, like Raquel did not bring that warm of a jacket, and Switzerland was cold. And I was like, "Girl, we might have to get leg money for you to get a jacket." Like it was that cold. This is a good example, again, though, of how you don't really know. Like going back to the different challenges and how you don't know, like what's the right dance moves to focus on. They tell us to pack for sort of anything. Like in we probably our biggest argument pre-race was I thought we needed to be preparing for like Arctic conditions. Yeah. Yes. Right? I didn't know. Yes. I think the reality is and I was like, if seasons, we're gonna get frostbite, they they're you, gonna give us a jacket. They give yeah. people stuff for really, really intense conditions. So but yeah. but when we were in Germany, we were the only people who were warm. I remember standing next to Ishwar where Wallaparna and Leo were trying to do the sauerkraut challenge and Ishwar had like only his really thin jacket and a t shirt and he was like they were clutching each shivering. other. Yep. And I was, I mean, I was still cold, but I was in like a long sleeve, a sweater over it, a vest, a jacket over that, and my puffiest mittens that Leo had made me pack. They were like sub-zero mittens. And I was like the right temperature. But, but I guess like at the end of the day, if you are not medevaced for being ill prepared, then right. that's like you right. did well. And so yep, I just right. don't know how many backpacks you have. Well, we'll see. Maybe they'll matter. all be cold. Maybe you can all these, carry two backpacks. Maybe all these single backpack teams will be freezing if they get somewhere cold. Like who knows where they're going to go next. Well, and also, yeah, yeah, that's a good point. You never know what the lag or what the route is going to be. So it's always great to be. I mean, we filmed in November. November, so we were gone under the impression wait, wait, wait. Past winter so, clothes. Ricky and Cesar. Cesar yeah. was, yes, yes. And a thermal set. Yes, yes, yes. Same. Did you have did you only have one? Well, wait, did they share? Puffer? No, they have, share separate the puffer? <laughs> they have separate backpacks. I think. Yeah, they had two backpacks. I definitely don't think it should be a requirement for each teammate to have a backpack. Like, y'all do what you want. I don't care. But, like, I will also say, like, depending on how you pack, like, having a backpack wasn't that big of a deal. I agree. I agree. It wasn't done that much. Yeah. Like, and like, more was it that big of a deal? Mm-hmm. Well, having my own backpack. Why do you have a blow dryer in it? My shit was Raquel? heavy as fuck. And then, <laughs> well, I mean, we, but we dropped. We started dropping we started, stuff. I know. We recognize what we didn't need, but it's like if you pack right, isn't that big of a deal? There are moments where, like, yeah, I had to take Raquel's backpack, like at one point, but like overall, for like my comfort, and like you said, not being like stinky. Like, I mean, it's funny because we talked about it this weekend. Ryan and Dusty were like, if we go back, we would bring literally just the clothes on our body. Yeah. Like, that is it. Yeah. And I'm I like, too. again, but what place. about winter? What yeah, about yeah. winter? When I was preparing, I remember, like, because remember, I was on before all y'all. Yeah. And so they, they, there's so much more information now where it was like, they didn't tell me shit. And I remember well, they didn't tell us shit about where we were going either. Yeah, we had no, tell us. no, 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 no. In regards to like, no, I feel like with now seeing more seasons, you know, mm-hmm. more of like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. So oh, I remember yeah. I spent like thousands of dollars. I was like, if I don't win this shit, this is going to cost me money because 
You that's didn't know. Like, yes. like, had, like, take out, if you go on the race, take out the yeah, yeah. yeah. Take our money, REI. Okay, my, my last question on the backpack. If if you were to go back and race, would you bring one or would you still bring two? We bring one. One. But we it's hard one. because Leo had so much diabetes equipment that like half, like most of Leo's bag was all the like packaging and diabetes equipment. Right. Yeah, I think in in I might um, unpackage everything and yeah. take my chances, you know, because a lot of the packaging is really bulky. I also a lot of my backpack was full of jerky, and <laughs> we didn't really. I kind of had to just power eat the jerky at a certain point. I forgot about um, that. So we would <laughs> definitely bring less jerky. Yeah, and that would lighten the load. <laughs> Let's talk about the roadblock from this leg. And this leg, uh, the roadblock was one team member had to memorize and post the names of twelve statues in the plaza on a map in order to receive their next clue, which then directed teams to travel on foot to the pit stop. Some teams, when they got there, had the church, the, the checkered church, right in front of them. So it was oh. easy for them to get their bearings because they were like, okay, here's the church. That means everything's behind me. Some teams, if they were on the reverse side of the board, right. they were confused like Amber because she was on the wrong side. Ricky was on the right side. So you had to turn around to then get your bearing straight. So I just thought that was a really interesting um, design for the roadblock where some teams were a little bit at a disadvantage because it wasn't a direct eyesight. But I'm I like, I, I enjoyed I the roadblock. Like variety though. Yeah. Like it's a little bit of a luck, a little bit of luck, but you yeah. Know. Or kind of like if you really stopped and thought about it, like if you got there first, you got yeah. to take the side that you're looking and you're oriented better. Mm -hmm. I mean, like we had moments like that where like, you know, there's a demonstration going on and there was like a table and we had gotten there a little bit later. So we were further away from the demonstration, whereas like, you know, Dusty was like right up on the demonstration. Like that was the perk Ooh. of getting to that spot yep. first. Yep. But. It's funny because just like there's COVID brain or like hungover brain, there's racer's brain. Yes. They're yeah. like, I look at that and some people got it so fast and others were, it's like you ask them to like figure out physics and time loop or some shit. Like they could not figure it out. You but know, and I did, it's like racer's brain. But yeah. not only that, I didn't really realize it's kind of like that thing that was going on where like, you know, some people have an internal dialogue and some people don't. And like the people that do have an internal dialogue, they're like, wait, th you're telling me there's people out there that like don't. It's almost one of those like I'm very good at orienting myself. And I just thought that that was something that's like not that hard to do. And I have definitely come across people, Raquel being one of them, my boyfriend, like they are just like. They have a very hard time orienting mm -hmm. themselves just in, even just in a room, you know what I mean? And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, so it's just, <laughs> that's just something that like, I don't think comes like, something. naturally. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why I really liked who, which team was it? It it was Sunny and Busy, right? Who picked, they picked they, the circles. She picked yeah. the circles. The circles. Yeah. And I was like, mm -hmm. that is so like, smart. Which is, the, which is the exact same thing as you see it on Survivor sometimes when people solve these like uh, code puzzles, right? Yeah. As long yeah. as you pick one right. word like the that you use, like it's three letters or like you see a one letter thing and it's, it's going to be A or I. Like it's going to be A or I. And then suddenly yeah. you have a vowel. Yeah, it was really, that was really impressive because I was like, I don't know how I would have done this. And then when she did the circles, I was like, oh, I probably would have gotten there not as quickly as her, to, but yeah. also to the circle. Because I, cardinal directions, like, don't fucking tell me to go north. Yeah. I <laughs> Did y'all notice, though, with this roadblock that there were blinds that yes. team yes. had put down to block the answers? Yeah. What did we think about this? Loved it. I loved it. I know, but so many people didn't use them. I would have just, I mean, listen, I would have call it cheating. It's, yeah. it's, cold. you leave your blind up? Oh, it's yeah. Decent. Laura would have been hiding under the blind as she did the puzzle. <laughs> That's, wait, so, no, but yeah. I'm saying I would have looked at yeah, the I looked at, oh, yeah. your puzzle, but I also don't know if I would have tried, I guess I would have like tried to peek if someone had just gotten it right, but otherwise I'd be like, yes. I don't know what I don't no, know. No, 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 but you know who's smart and who's dumb, totally you totally know? Dumb. So, like, you already know who you want to be cheating off of and who you don't. You know, like, would oh, you I'm cheat off of me, Laura? <laughs> oh yeah, I'd be like, what is she doing? <laughs> yeah, I did because I think you no, know, Ricky was the prime example of that. Amber left her blind up, and Ricky was like, I could easily look, but I'm going to do the fair. I love 
him saying like, I'm going to do the fair thing, but it's a race. So to me, nothing's fair in the race. It is, it is a race. It is a competition. It is reality TV. If you want to look, look, yeah, but also yeah. I think Ricky trusted his confidence enough that he didn't need yeah. to, he didn't need to look off Amber of all people to know like if he was right or wrong. You know right. what I mean? If, if I was in the front of the pack, it. I don't think I would have because I do think I would trust my own stuff. But if I was in the back, th yes. it would creep in my mind to to probably look at other people. Yes. Like, it's just like, cards. like if you can see someone's hand, that's their fault. Yeah. That's their fault. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You want to flash me your hand? Uh, I can't help that. You give it right here? It's like playing with an eight-year-old. But okay, let's also like not to like skip ahead, but like I just feel like this is gonna take like a big chunk. Is like the this is where alliances really mm. came out, like really came out. Yeah. Um. Would you? I guess I kind of want to hear from everyone's standpoint. I mean, I guess like you know, I feel like I, me and Laura are the only ones that didn't like. I think fully like have this in ours, but it's just like yeah. No, Here? I don't. I just. I guess I don't understand. There's a couple moments that I don't really understand the alliance part of it. Like, yeah, I. I don't know. I guess I just want to hear y'all's thoughts. I think in this in this example, going back to our season of the race, which obviously was very polarizing for the fans. Um, <laughs> For, what for for the alliance? It's knowing when to help and when not to help. Like there right. were times where like we would see Madison and Riley and we would intentionally not get near them. So we didn't feel obligated to tell them anything. It's, it's, it's like in this case, like I admire that Amber and Vinny have a strong relationship with Annie and with Dan, Danny and Angie, but that's because I know Danny. So I, I loved this moment where I'm like, you're looking right. out for a friend. But that felt so weird. Cause I was like, it if you run, so weird. you can but catch up. And what I if we not? Out? Yes. That she's, was so weird. They gave it it was Especially because like, they're, like what's his, uh, Vinny is so hyper competitive. I was like really surprised by that. I was so thrown off by that. Me because too. I like, was like, who are you? Like, you're my thing is, is your he's like, oh, it's taking a really long time to get directions, but you just saw Cesar right. and them get directions and run in a certain way. You know, yes, ditch the girl that's taking forever and just say, oh my God, thank you so much. You know, let right. them get what they need, you know, because yep. of the behind the scenes stuff. Mm -hmm. But it's like, you can still, they are fast like okay. as much as like Vinny you know was kind of like oh Amber I need you're going you're going so slow I know for a fact she's fast enough to catch up with those boys so well, it's it's like, I don't get why they didn't also, just like, drop the directions and yeah. follow the boys and right. we did this a lot where we would run in a direction we thought was right and then sort of holler the thing we were looking for and then people would tend to point to you and yes. so you could just run saying the name of the park they were trying to get to I was like I don't I was so mad about that that was well, so you at least just run far enough in the in the same direction as the boys to kind of right. get yourself in, in the right direction yeah. keep them in eyesight and then if you need to stop and get directions like do it at totally. that point I guess I just didn't what? understand so I don't understand why you wouldn't just follow them. I mean, That's you what I'm speak saying. fluent yes. Spanish, follow yep. them, right. run right beside them. And then when you yeah. see yeah. it's not a no brainer, number one. And number two, Danny is smart enough to figure out that shit on his own. He is so smart, so good at puzzles. It's almost like a, like they maybe felt like they wouldn't win first. So why even try? It was very fun. That's how it, that is how it felt. That is definitely they, how it felt. They seem hungry for first place. That's why I, I was even shocked. I mean, I Wait, don't. They said that they were still in the plaza confirming directions on a phone when they started helping Danny. I wonder okay. if it was edited differently. Either that way, I just thought it was. I, I would have followed Ricky and Cesar. I would yeah. not have stopped. I would have too. Him. But to play devil's advocate on this, in this format with the 15 minute departure groups, Kayla, which you have experience with, mm -hmm. I didn't think it was a bad move because now you're securing a team you like with you to leave in your departure mm -hmm. group and also a team that, sure, I do think Vinny and Amber really do like Danny and Angie, but I'm not going to for a second think that Vinny also doesn't, I'm going to say Vinny because he's a little bit more high inten intensity with the competitiveness where he doesn't think that they can beat Danny and Angie. Yes. And not only that, like when right. I think when he's sizing up, like, you know, their strengths talking about Vinny and Amber and then Danny yeah. and his mom's strengths. I think he's thinking if we help them now in a spot where we're clearly set up to be in the front of the pack, if we get into trouble later, now Danny and his mom have a reason That's to it. help us. Yeah, exactly. So it is very okay. forward thinking and it's very, very smart, which I'm yeah. not going to not. Yeah, I'm not going to not. Also, you never know what's going to happen. They right. could have 
started running and she could have broken her ankle or something and could have tracked her. Like, I'm not joking you. What I'm saying is that like people think, okay, well, if I do this, then in, you know, 10 steps, we'll, we'll be fine. But it's like on the amazing race, nothing is a guarantee. You really have to think in that moment as well. Right. And listen, I love Danny. I don't think that his mom is going to be winning like a, a foot race, to be honest with you. But like, what? It probably would have been smarter to just be yeah, first. I was surprised by that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The only thing I will add is that if like the only time we uh, helped another team is when we thought mm -hmm. we could uh, beat that team. Mm -hmm. right. I don't think because we helped D'Angelo and Gary when we were. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, thought, yeah. yeah. So there was times when we yeah. Wait, but let me yeah. go back. We that did we, make the cut. we were like the one strategy, <laughs> the one strategy around like strategy. I'm emphasizing right because why did we help Gary and D'Angelo? Because we vaguely thought that they would help us maybe later, right? right. But strategy. We were helping teams because we were trying to eliminate, specifically trying to eliminate a team, Kelly and Levon, who we thought were going to be absolutely crushing the race yeah. if they stayed in. We saw a chance to get rid of them. And and Danny and Angie, I think, um, Vinny and Amber are thinking there's we can easily beat them. Yeah. Right. Think think. Yeah. Put yourself in Vinny mind, right? Yeah. Well, like he's but like listen, Danny can take Vinny in any brain competition. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. But I I'm well, saying Danny, watch his ass. I'm not saying <laughs> think about this like Laura. I love I'm Danny. Think about this like Vinny. I also don't think Vinny is um I, I know we're gonna go through this. I have I don't think that he's actually being a strategic I don't think he's a strategic partner or like being thoughtful about the way that he's like pushing and making decisions. Like I think the way he's pushing Amber is really stupid and thoughtless. I think like I just don't I, feel bad I don't think I think he's competitive without any thought behind it. Yeah. And I'm like really not I maybe I will change my opinion. But right now, I'm not a big no, fan. No, I don't think we will. I don't know. That's sweet, babe, having a crying like that. I felt really bad for her. I, yeah, I was like, that would be rough. Like, everyone, every girl has had, maybe not. I have had the boyfriend that's made me cry like that. I have really felt for her. Oh, <laughs> yeah. just like, no. I if like you're her. competitive and your girlfriend <laughs> is crying, be supportive. I'll play, so that I'll play you devil's advocate, though, because I, I, I could see me being that way with Colton. I just think running with, like, a romantic partner, which, I mean, Leo and Alana, like, you guys did it exceptionally. Like, that that's a really, like, vulnerable place to put yourself in on TV. And the, race, <laughs> and the race specifically yeah. loves a oh, little, yeah. like, oh, couple yeah. conflict. Like, like, if they can do it, they, they, they will. Cool. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, mainly yeah. why I tune in. <laughs> but, like, I don't know. Like, I, I'm I'm going to, like, I'm going to give them a little bit of grace that's because fine. their conversation in the taxi, I felt like they communicated through it very well. Yeah. The things he was saying were all, like, you can do it and not we can do it. And I was, like, you're part of this problem. You're part of the reason why your team is in the place you're in. So, like, be a we. I was really frustrated. I, mm, I yeah. don't that was very frustrating. queen, yes. And you know what? Hopefully, That's like, I mean, and they even, he even made, like, an Instagram post or, like, something that said, like, you know, this next episode is probably not going to highlight, you know, me oh, in, like, the best way. Yeah. So, like, I think he you, like, recognized him. it. I think yeah, he, yeah. I mean, and I, I'm, I'm just curious, like, how the rest of the leg goes and if that is yeah. how he pushes her. Because, like individually whether you're female or male like different people are pushed in different ways yeah. and like maybe that's how he's motivated and like i think he just didn't maybe maybe he didn't know like oh this isn't how she is yeah he needs motivated like night i think well i can't remember if they just did medical school for eight or nine years or if they did that all like all i mean you should know but i do have to say i don't think it was like bad enough to make her cry she is also yeah. being a little bit of a baby but you know but I that's where the strategy comes yeah, yeah, yeah. in, whether she's justified or not. If right. your partner is, is crying, you're not going to do well. I think there were moments where Leo really wanted to say things to me like that, but he never <laughs> did because he knew. How would that have helped? And we you would make him cry, cry though. <laughs> you should have made me cry. <laughs> that would have made me. Yeah, I don't know. Me. Anyway, it's just like in the flow of like how the episode went, it's just weird how like, you know, it was that intense enough to where like, yeah, you know, he kind of pushed her to an uncomfortable place where she got emotional. And yeah. then all of a sudden you just see them in my eyes and the way it came across on TV, just 
so easily give up first place and in 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 yes. fact choose to help Danny. Like it was just very like I was like on like an emotional roller coaster of like, wait, what just happened? Like right. this is so polar yeah. different from how their attitude started in the beginning then, or how it's like ending. But then to play devil's advocate with the Vinny thing, maybe he recognized he was hard on Amber. So like if Amber wants to help Danny and Angie and he's not mm -hmm. going to put that pressure on her to get first after she just did a great job at the roadblock. Right. Oh it's so, it's so stupid. <laughs> when you think about it, that's so stupid. She literally, he made her cry. She killed it at the roadblock. And then they're like, Need, need right. At least get the five thousand bucks out of it. I know. Right. Yeah. Again, this is why I love the race because we can sit here on our couches and, and nitpick I mean, every people, decision. Listen, but yeah. we've been there. Not so we're not little trolls. We've done that shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm still a troll. Facebook. I'm still a Facebook troll. Yeah, but... I haven't gotten any better. <laughs> before <laughs> before we talk about the teams, I wanted to do a fun little segment in honor of Leo's birthday. Leo's top three moments from the episode that made him go, hmm, like he's impressed. So, Leo, what are those three moments from the episode? Let me see if I can remember what I said. So <laughs> the obvious one to me was after Sonny and Busy embarrassed themselves at the puzzle, they then showed up at the map and crushed it, right? Like, this was... I mean, yeah, I, I could narrate this, but you all were, were there. Um, it was pretty fucking embarrassing. <laughs> they were like, Mama Rat took a baby rap on a trip around the yeah. world with hockey sticks, and then they did I yoga. Was, they were like laughing out loud. I had a yoga nightmare, and then I, there was an evil mouse dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, Sonny. Um, all right, what was your next one, Leo? Well, next one was Amber, we just talked about it, how Amber was like, um, you know, basically they were breaking down. Their relationship was, you know, on the hot seat. And then she was like, I can do pretty well if you don't pressure me. And I was like, I don't know if Vinny's not going to be able to not pressure her. And then he's like, uh, I don't know, Amber. And then she crushed it. And I was okay. like, okay, okay. She bounced back real quick. She was, she was like, you're off. looking like an asshole. I was like, ooh, yeah. not straight up calling it. <laughs> and then what's your last one, Leo? And then the last one was when uh, our, our queen, Phil, uh, was like, I'll try this thing. And we were like, okay. <laughs> like, I hope this goes well. And then I was like, all right. Like. Okay, I'm like, please tell me this had to be after like an hour of him practicing. And then they're like, okay, and then he's like, okay, now I'm ready for you to take the shot. Because totally. I'm like, you literally just looked like a double Dutch king. And he's like, <laughs> who knew? So who knew? What I loved about this exercise, though, James, <laughs> is that it helped me like actually think about what I was thinking in that moment. Mm -hmm. um, and it's actually like a positive, right? Yeah. These are all like positive moments when people who like whether or not I wanted to <laughs> were suddenly pulling through in ways that I never expected them to. <laughs> so there well, I, I want to give an honorable mention to the escalator dog. Yes. <laughs> I, I just thought that was just a great moment. That cameraman was like, I got to get this. But Leo, thank you for sharing your top three moments from the episode. Of course. Thank you. Um, let's briefly give our <laughs> opinions before we uh, add Michelle and Sean to the recap about each team. We'll start in order of the pit stop. So Ricky and Cesar, once again, getting another first place finish. I think it's very evident that they are well prepared for this race. They did their homework, they put in the work, and they're so consistent. They work really well together. What do you all think about Ricky and Cesar? I need them to like fuck up and do something wrong. <laughs> yeah, get out of Spanish yeah. countries. Yeah, can they stop knowing how to speak Spanish? Like, <laughs> I'm just confused. <laughs> Okay. It's funny though, because our season we called that the curse. Like you would get to a country where you spoke the language and you would feel confident, and then those teams would get cut. Like Lavon was fluent in Spanish, Leo could mm. speak like Leo could speak Russian, which so, got which was like Michelle okay, with French. French. Michelle with French. It was just like this sort of constant, like oh, it's the curse. So uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. They're 
impressed. They're scary. They're, they're scary really good. smooth. Like they're I mean, I, yeah, good. I don't have much to add. Yeah. They're, they're like crazy. googling the statues before oh getting God, to the plaza. Yeah. They're so calm. Like, yeah, yeah what is, is wrong with that? They were like simple. The, the key to success in the race is to simply relax and have fun. <laughs> I'm almost like, did they like? Do they work on this? Are they plants? Like, <laughs> I just, I don't, I don't know. There's something. Again, I, I love them and I think they're very smart. I think they are very well prepared for the race, but kind of like how Laura said, like, I want like a little snafu to happen or whatever. And again, it's just very hard for me to like separate. Um, oh my God, I think they're so good and they're so strong with like also recognizing if you're speaking fluent the fluent language and like every like yeah it's like Vinny and Amber I, as much as we just you know gave them a bunch of shit it's like they don't speak the language so they didn't get directions as quickly like they were waiting and relying on someone with a phone whereas Ricky and Cesar just speaking the language fluently and getting very quick directions like getting directions is huge so for you to speak the language it's just kind of like I don't know it's it, that part kind of like it makes it well, a little leaving, less. Where are they like, going next week? Well, they're going to Chile. Oh, they're going to Chile. Yeah. Okay. Well, they'll go somewhere after Chile. They're, they've got yeah. to go to Europe. Hmm? Yeah. Well, but again, yeah. outside of all that, I'm just like, dude, I'm. They are the it's team impressive. to beat. They are the yeah. team to beat. I mean, like, like, like first, the, second, second, first. Extra step to count like the tiles from the roadblock to know like how many statues are actually going to be put on the map. Like, I just. They always take that extra step. Yeah. And it's clearly and like the fucking up. challenge. Like it's been kind yeah, of ridiculous. It's been, yeah, like no. and and that's to their credit. Like and I'm not just saying that because you're here. <laughs> they said they've been extremely good at showing the only ten words Spanish. Rick oh, that's knows. funny. I thought Ricky we was also, also just processed because we knew Cesar like clearly. We, was but fluent. we were like, maybe Ricky is also like almost fluent or like you know can, like can speak it like a you know third or yeah. fourth grade level, whatever. You maybe need. that's, that's how they really met. <laughs> anyway, they are the well, calm, exactly. cool, and collected kings of the yeah, race so far. They that's are. Like, it's be. Um, well, in second place again, just impressive climbing these rankings. Amber and Vinny, they definitely had a bumpy start to the leg. Oh, but oh, oh, talk about this oh right wait, here. wait, 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 wait! I have something to say about this. This is part of my problem, James. So okay. <laughs> you see how he ran up and didn't run with her to the mat. It's stuff like that that screams to me that they're like, like I just don't. We don't, but we don't. I don't think we're he's doing a it. good job Sorry. of being a supportive partner. It's like, but she didn't run with him. Well, I don't know. He was running was faster. Him. He should have just ha he should have run with her. Like if they weren't going to get running. her. Oh, I see what. Mm. Like just fucking wait with her for a second. <laughs> He's carrying it back. Her ass needs to hurry up. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh my god! Uh, but I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm impressed. They went from 12th to seventh to yeah. two back, back to back second place finishes. Like. They're competitive and I, I have their dynamic. And I've said this on other recaps, like it reminds me of old school, amazing race. Like yeah. they are that classic old school, amazing race couple that brings this high intensity yeah. to the race. And a lot of us may not understand that dynamic of their relationship, but like, it's clearly, they clearly know what works or what doesn't work for them. And it can be hard to watch sometimes, but like they're, they're bringing the heat. Oh, totally. Yeah. yeah. We never got second. They're great. <laughs> <laughs> um, in third place, Danny and Angie with just Rebus puzzles for breakfast, a buffet of puzzles for these two <laughs> all leg long. And this is where I know that, you know, I, I, I will stand by this opinion. The word strong is really relative on The Amazing Race. And I'm quite tired of fans and maybe some alumni of our show that literally will look at a team and their physique and their physique only and determine that's what makes them a strong team. It's completely ignorant and I don't think it's appropriate. And in this case, Danny and Angie are proving that you can't underestimate the underdog. And I, I love that about the amazing race. Stop looking at teams like just because they're built and have muscles, they're going to do well at the, the race. The race any team can win. It is designed for any team to win. And I just think Danny and Angie are going to continue to prove people wrong. And I'm off my soapbox now. <laughs> well, I, I think that a lot of teams that aren't, I mean, a lot of teams that win are not big yeah. buff people, mm -hmm. right? you know? Right. So I, I don't think it'll all be like the Jack. I think that Danny know. is literally the, oh my, I mean, we obviously know it. he's just, I'm obsessed with him. He's so sweet. And his mom, I mean, they're literally like, Hallmark picture perfect mother son. Like 
that is what you would want, in my opinion. So yeah. I guess my I'll offer a, a contrarian take. Mm -hmm. um, so like, first of all, Juan and Shane, you might have thought if you were going to be like, oh, the Jack teams have some kind of advantage. Like mm -hmm. I, I have loved the fact that they have been middle of the pack, right? Yeah. That's mm -hmm. like exactly what you want to see. And exactly like James is your point, I think. And they're like, you know, they could pull it out, right? But if, let's say Juan and um, Shane, Juan right? and, yeah. Yeah. let's say Juan and Shane won, no one would be like, oh, they dominated the whole time, like these military bros, like boo, right? We'd be like, oh, like they're kind of underdogs at this point, right? Yeah. Danny, I I get it. Like, I love him. And I think he's super smart. I would consider him a threat without a doubt. Angie acts like it's her son's race. And yeah. I don't like that. that I don't, I find it uninteresting. I, I, that's a valid point because yeah. we were trying to look for the escalators and she's like, this is the base. This is, and he was like, no, we should go out. It's, uh, she needs to take a little bit more of an assertive role. Be uh, in the race. I am also no, no in the interest. Yeah. No interest like in seeing watching, someone run their race yeah. with their, their top number one cheerleader. Yeah, who's she their feels mom. like she's watching him and being like, wow. I think it does Danny yeah. a disservice. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I think if he was racing. That's a very good point. Yeah. Yeah, I think if he was racing with like a, <laughs> a friend or someone who was more competitive, like I don't know his dad, like you know someone who's more competitive, he would they would be doing even better because she is just so like I'm seeing at the coffee challenge and she was like, oh this is delightful, and I was like, you're not here for a fun Boom! activity. Pink Rose coffee means faster. And, and to give Angie <laughs> some credit here, I think she would be a better racer if she wasn't racing with Danny. Mm -hmm. My mom would be a terrible racer with me. But uh, she would be a terrible racer sticker, in general. Yeah, she's she's not very, she, no, no, she no. would have too much fun. But, yeah. you know, like, <laughs> let's just take my mom out of it. Angie, I think if you put her with, like, one of her buddies or, like, literally anyone else in the whole world, I think mm. you might see a competitive bone come out of her body. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Well, in fourth and fifth place, you know, but race to the pit stop, we have Juan and Shane and Rod and Letitia going at it. We get the, t I mean, if we're really going to say the physically strong teams of yeah. the race, like they're here, this, they, they definitely stumbled this leg of the race. We saw Rod and Letitia, just a little friction as well. I think, I don't think she was happy that they did the dance part of the detour. And I think at one point she even, I, I forgot the quote. Oh, she said that that was not a good marriage move. Mm -hmm. And that was because he had made the decision that they were going to do the dancing. And I don't feel like she felt like her voice was heard and that I'm not a dancer. Like we shouldn't do this. I don't want to do the dance, but they did it anyway. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm, I'm really loving Juan and Shane a lot more. And I said this last week, a lot more than I thought I was going to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's something yeah. really likable about these two. Yeah. And it's not so overbearingly alpha for me as a viewer. Mm -hmm. Watching yeah. them dance kind of made them like, so stinking cute because yeah. it made them like a little bit dweeby, which I was like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like they weren't like suave and sexy. They were just kind of like, e -e -e -e. You know? <laughs> yeah, I really, they're like you said, they're, they're becoming, they're a lot more relatable than I think mm -hmm. like you would look at them and assume or something, but like back to Robin Letitia, it wasn't just the, um, the, um, the dancing choice, even at the very end, she was like, I told you, I told you it was yeah. this way. It's like, yeah. if that becomes a repetitive pattern where he's not taking her like voice and her decision-making into consideration, I mean, like you can lose the race that way. Yeah. Like, again, yeah. like yeah. you guys are a team, like yeah. trust in what she's saying too. But um, I also, I, I wish I knew, I almost want to like ask them that museum thing because when they you know how one took six and the other one took six which one got the ones wrong because remember on the first check it was wrong and then they had to go back and check to where it's just kind mm -hmm. of like I, I just wonder which of the team which person got the stuff wrong because like what because in that case that was really beneficial to work together but do you really want to be that neck and neck with the, that team specifically, I guess? Like, yeah. so again, it's just kind of like, there's just certain, the working together has its benefits and I don't hate it. I don't. It's just in this episode specifically, there it was just interesting choices <laughs> being made 
to where it, it almost seems like uneven help, if that makes sense. Mm, totally. I don't know. Yeah. I think that's very fair. And I, 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 I did love the one moment, though, too, at the beginning where Juan was talking about his family being from here. And he's like, if I run into my aunt on the street, oh, I, loved I like, loved that. <laughs> I like the amount of helping at the very end when um, I forget who, but I think Juan and Shane were about to run off. And they like gave them that last tip. And to me, that was like the perfect um, oh, appropriate yeah. amount of like, okay, we're going to go. Well, we're not going to like leave you in the dust in this mm -hmm. exact moment. Like they're middle of the pack at the end of the day. They're not going to, no one's going to get eliminated in this moment. Most likely. Right. I guess you could be thinking about it that way, but like then you're a lot on and dead. Right. So like, why not just like throw them a bone? Yeah. And I also really like, like I was starting to feel triggered by the alliances, right? <laughs> but then I really liked how there were like a couple of micro alliances. And that to me feels like, like the producers at the end of the day are not going to be able to squash alliance making like mm -hmm. fully, right? But like, I can empathize with some of our like Facebook fan base who is like, you know, dislike these mega alliances. Um, and I thought that like, just as a viewer, a couple of teams like thinking strategically and being like, I want this team to move forward and like mm -hmm. everyone else not to. Right. It, it just makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's just funny how you see, which, you know, they're, we're going to end up getting to talk about them, but um, you know, the double Dutch, like she said, like she literally said out loud, can we all work together? Yeah. So it was just very obvious that no, you were not included in that, which it's like you did show up to the task much later. So yeah. it's kind of like uh, not going to clue you in at that point. But what's interesting is like once the firefighters came in, the cousin and her should have recognized we've been here for a minute yeah. and we keep getting the wrong thing. That's the time to be like, girl, we need to work together because yeah. they just showed up last. We do not want to be overtaken by them. Yeah. Like, right. I don't know. It was just. Oh, there, there's a lot happening this episode, honestly. Mm -hmm. A lot happening. In sixth place, Derek and Shalisa. And then in seventh place, we had Melissa and Yvonne. Um, I'm loving Derek and Shalisa. And she was cracking me up when she got to the roadblock. And she's like, cracking where's the up. map? Where's the map? And she's like, looking at the board. And it's very clearly a map. But I think that's, again, with the design of this roadblock, she had the other side of the map. So yeah. she wasn't able to point reference the checkered church right away. Like he was on the other side of the board. But um, I love that we also got to see a little bit more of Yvonne and Melissa, which we didn't get to see much of them last episode. They had pretty much an invisible edit. Yeah. Um, so it was fun to, to see them a lot more this episode too. Yeah, Derek and Shalisa, I'm really excited for them to continue to dominate. Like they're clearly a strong team. They're great. Yeah. I also really, I really felt for her when she was like, where's the map? I'm like, oh, that's how my brain would be. Like, you're panicked. You just got there. And you're like, but I don't see a literal map. Like, and what's I, this stupid picture of the <laughs> surrounding area? Like, I was like, I feel this. So, like, this is exactly. I don't know if I would have said it out loud, but I would have thought that a lot in my head. Um, yeah, they're great. She has I, so I many great, like, one-liners. Yep. Like, even, like, the other teams notice they're like, oh, she's just chilling in the taxi. Like, she's just so calm. And right. then, you know, her yeah. husband's like, oh, they're younger. They're more attractive. And she's like speak for yourself you know <laughs> like, yeah. also, also like they like these other teams in their 20s and 30s could only wish to like Race, you know uh, yeah, be yeah, half as fair. smooth yeah, like today. yeah. i yeah, love them in eighth place was Sunny and Busy. Uh, they started off this leg saying that they're not performing to the level that they want. So it's definitely some learning curves for them in this race. But then we saw them at the Rebus puzzle kind of fumble. Then they switched detour. So they were absolutely last. But again, Leo pointed out an impressive move on their part. They were last and then beasted through that roadblock. And that's what saved them from being eliminated this leg. I think they're a very strong and capable team. But again, the race is a learning curve. And I think there's some things that they're still trying to figure out. Yeah. I think they might be a little too same brain. Like mm -hmm. you need to have some complementary um, skills. And like, I just think they were locked into the wrong thing. And that showed at the mm -hmm. puzzle. A good point. Yeah, it's like you have to remember about the race. Like they're not trying to trick you, and just with that first one that they fumbled so bad is like a that shows that this is a good leg at the end, and yeah. like yeah. this is exactly right. what we want. Like the, you want yeah. a team who can correct yeah. and like yeah, it with that yeah. It's true that they were staying positive even after the twenty fifth try, and they were like, <laughs> "This must be even more complicated than we originally thought." <laughs> <laughs> they did. No, I don't know. I just. 
I love them and I hope we get more of their chaos, but I don't know. It's not looking good. <laughs> and I do love, you know, Karishma just talking about how she's really just seizing life after yeah. unfortunately losing both of her parents and just seeing how short life is. And so I think that they're badass, both of them, but I just feel like once you're kind of in the back, it's hard to yeah, really yeah. work your way up unless you're Amber and Vinny. <laughs> Call it Amber and Vinny. Who knows? Let's, yeah. I'll I, I would love to see it. Yeah, I, would I would love, love to see, see it. it. And then sadly, we say goodbye to team Double Dutch this episode. Sean and Michelle, their joy was infectious. They clearly like to have fun with each other. And so let's go ahead and bring them on into our recap. Hey, y'all. Oh. Are we in? You're in. in. Oh, you guys. Oh. oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Technology. Um, I'm sad to see them go. I, I know. I, I thought they were fun, and I love their energy and just their overall enthusiasm. I can see why they are instructors, because I want to take yes. their class. I would think it would be fun to work out. Oh. Oh, you can go ahead. They're, they're, they, they <laughs> I was them. not expecting them to yeah. be. And I also wonder, I like, it's so dark out at that point. I'm I curious know. how long. Oh, I read this. It's she said that they were at she said that she was at the roadblock for four hours. Oh I read that in an no. article today. I I I think you were um I think you were getting at this though. Like I saw them as such a threat. Yeah. 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 Like, I, not only positive, but like yep. fit, like relationship seems yeah. to be like on lock. Yeah. Um, there they are. <laughs> hey y'all. Oh, you're back, you're back. Oh, you're back. Nice. Yes, can you see us? Yeah, yes. we were just, we were just, we, we, were we were just saying that we just loved the two of you on the show and we wish you would have gotten to see more of the two of you. I'm sorry. Hello. Hello. Can you hear <laughs> us? Can you, can you hear us? Yeah. Yes. hear you. <laughs> Our service is terrible. We really. were watching you guys the, the whole, whole time. time. The whole time. <laughs> and now it just went out. Oh no! <laughs> can, can you hear so us? Can, at you, can you hear us? Like us? Three minutes. Yes. Give us yeah. like three minutes. One. Yes. We got you. We got you. Three minutes. You're good. <laughs> like three minutes. Try to fix it. We'll wait three minutes. <laughs> in the meantime, we'll just continue to sing their praises. Yeah, it's Again, it's just like such a good like. I, it, I like Leo said. Like they were physically strong. Um, but also like their communication and the way they worked as teammates, like I just thought was so positive. Like they yeah. were, yeah, like it was, yeah. it, I don't know. I just, so without them here to defend themselves, <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Like, she just couldn't no, 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 but in general, they were never like nothing worked. Like what, why did this team not work? I, I love how when she didn't get the map right, she goes, could you tell me what, what's wrong? <laughs> Yeah. Well, because because in previous legs, they literally even showed it this season. They were they were told, like in the cooking one, I can't right. remember who it was, but they were yeah. told like your plantains aren't cooked enough. Yeah. Where they were getting feedback on yeah. like, hey, this is what you need to correct. Well, and then so for now all of a sudden, like, oh, you're days. on your own? Like yeah. she's probably like, yeah. what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> but but yeah, you're right, Leo. Like, what went wrong? Because I think that on like they had everything. I feel like to be great. Well, team. no one told them there would be hills. Well, yeah, I'm trying to remember. They were at the end of that episode, and why did that happen? Like, why did they begin? Why did they begin at the bottom of the? Path? Well, they, they. I mean, the, the dancing was hard. They chose the dancing. So had they chosen the other, right? Um, no, but in the episode that? before. Hello. 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 Yay. Yes. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Okay. okay, we're always busy. We're driving back from Atlanta now with three kids in the back. Okay, so it's oh always God. a mission. Oh my gosh! Hi, kiddos. Hi. Be sleeping. Say hi, Phoenix. How fast are you driving right now? <laughs> <laughs> we we just we just pulled over. Yes. Oh, I was just <laughs> My, my 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 daughter will take this whole thing over. We'll take the, the whole, whole thing, thing over. over okay. Thing over. I love sure. it. How are you two doing since your episode this last week? Oh, uh, we're, doing, we're doing great. We're, we're doing amazing. So we're doing. And just wait. We have to mention this. 
We literally teach everyone to jump double dutch in less than one minute guarantee. So there was no practice. There was no practice. There was no nothing, but we're always ready. We always have the ropes on us. We got the ropes in the trunk right now. We're always ready to go. We're always, we're always ready to go. Always, always ready to go. Oh, yes. yes, they were in a, we produce our own ropes. Those are our ropes and we carry them with oh them because God. we're entrepreneurs. Yeah. We're if always on entrepreneurs. Over, if we get pulled yeah. over right now, I want you to teach whoever pulls you over. <laughs> I want to see that. Why? We will. Well, well, well the good the good news is we pulled over just so we could talk to you guys yes. because we were losing service. The, this whole time we were watching you guys. This as soon time. as it was as soon as it was it was time so, to come on. It just oh, fell apart. <laughs> well, thank you. For it looked like that map, out. that nightmare map. Yes. <laughs> How yeah. were you guys super fans of the show before going on? Like, kind of, what was your casting experience like to get on the show? Well, first of all, we're fanning out because we know all of you guys, okay? <laughs> because we've seen all of your episodes. But we, no, before that, we didn't. We didn't watch the show. Yes, like that. Like we that. Saw before. Like, yeah. I, we've we've seen like one or two episodes. But then when we found out that we were going to be on the show, we, we saw every single we binged episode. Everything. We binged everything. We saw everything. Yes. And so, um, yeah, they, they reached out to us. We we have a, um, a web series that we do called In Less Than a Minute, where, yes. where we teach random people in random places how to jump double dutch in less than a minute. And so they. Yes. And, all right. And so they saw the video and they liked our personalities. Yes. Oh, wow. And so then they, they asked us to be on the show and. That was it. That was it. And I will say everything on Amazing Race is out of my comfort zone. That's it. Meaning, um, I'm a I'm a Brooklyn girl. I like concrete, okay? I don't <laughs> like the grass. Here I am slipping on mud. I don't do maps. I barely know where I am now. I forgot continents like after what junior high school? I don't know capitals of states. I know none of that. But I learned it or studied it as much as I could for the race. That's it. We learned how to swim for the race. Yes. Um, and we, uh, we already knew how to drive stick. Yeah, that, that was, was the it. only thing. That was it. We had stick cars, but that was That's everything else was a was learning for us. Yes. Everything oh, else. We, we we learned in front of all of you. Yes. <laughs> That's what we did. Wow. And when, but we faced our fears. So Sean. Wait, 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 wait. She has sorry, something to had a say. question. Well, no, we, I was just going to say, well, that's so shocking to hear because, like, we had just said, like, we are so shocked that, you know, unfortunately your time came to an end as fast as it did because I would have never assumed that of you guys. Like, you guys seemed like such a strong. Yeah, we strong thought you were a huge team. threat. Like, yeah. Yes. We thought so too. We 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 could have been. We could. We could have been. It was, it it was that post. You know, the, you even even a, John, you were, you were. You were yeah. Just keep stick with that. <laughs> <laughs> now the map and Jane, you had it right, James. So, but you had it the opposite way. So, so our side of the map was almost like you know how you learn a dance and a dance teacher yeah. teaches you yeah. the side way by side. side by side. Yeah. Our map was like learning a dance. If so, if the teacher taught in front of you. And okay. so my mind was blown. It's the opposite of what you said. If you were faced like where Shane and Rod were, yeah. then you could place it like that. And you couldn't switch sides. I tried to switch sides and go to a map on that side, but they were like, no, the side that you choose is, is the side that you're stuck on. Right, because I, I, I honestly... I honestly think if had she was if she was able to switch sides, she would have gotten it. it was it was because when very because rough. when she saw it, she saw it. She was like, "Oh snap! I I can see it on the other side. The other I can side. see it." But flipping it, but I just she couldn't. And it's okay. It's all right. Rod yeah. would have just uh, ripped the map out of the ground. And <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why he didn't do that. <laughs> Just to touch on the cleaning of your shoes, because we obviously just went on a whole tangent about packing and whatever. Like I packed a separate pair of shoes for that reason, because yeah. my dad actually had said, like, if your shoes get wet, like you yeah. don't want to be running in like, you know, you wet can't. shoes and then you'd you have shoes and stuff like, you know, so mm -hmm. it's just crazy. Like, had you, if you got the chance to go again, would bringing a separate pair of clean shoes, like, would that be something that you would prioritize or what you still like not necessary? No, I don't no. think I, I think I don't think we could have packed another thing in that bag. <laughs> our bags, our bags were super heavy. And, I, and we threw out stuff. And the thing is, we thought we were packing light until we got on the race. It was like, oh, oh man, this, this is 
My, because one, I didn't know we were going to be running so much. I mean, and not only like, that, you guys ran a lot of like hills and stairs. Like it wasn't just flat. Thank running. you, thank yeah. you, thank you very much. And y'all, let me shout out Angie, okay? And, because Angie was encouraging me on them steps. She said, Michelle, you could do it because those steps oh, right. keep my behind. First of all, Angie is a beast. Is a beast. Don't sleep. You, you, you got. You guys didn't see a lot of things, yeah. Angie. Is a beast. Let's be very clear. Guys, she was having a heat stroke. Right. <laughs> she was having a heat stroke and kept going. And and it, and, and it kept putting on the makeup. <laughs> this lady could have passed away on the show. Stop, stop, God, 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 God. Right. And she kept no, but she kept going. She kept going. She would not stop. She is a fighter. She is tough. A beast. She's a beast. I'm trying I'm, I'm trying to tell you guys. It's it's, you know, it's a lot it's, in the edit. Yeah. There's so much and yes. like, teams, on our teams on our season where like yep. you wouldn't have a clue about <laughs> parts yeah. of them. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. No, yeah. Angie's, yeah. Angie's a beast. Yeah. What's being shown is she's very much like I'm. I'm doing this for my son. My son's the racer, and we want to. We want to see like the no girl. Like you, you right. are the racer too. I mean, but I mean, it's it's that. But the, as, it, a parent, it, 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 as a parent, right? But it has to be the other part of it too, in order to be a part of this race because it's hard. Yes. yes. So it yes. it can't be just for her son because you good. You you got you got to want to do it too because yeah. otherwise, oh, it's not happening. But I will say this: you know, part of our mission was our our kids really are watch the show with us, and so when Sean had to face his fear of heights, our son kept seeing the commercial of him being scared. And it, you know, we saw him watching him be scared. So we had to like intentionally show him when his dad passed, you know what I mean? Push Literally through. pushed through. Yeah. And so yeah. since then, you know, we've been skydiving. We surprised him for his yes. birthday. We were skydiving. Look at also, you. yes. Oh, we face our fears over here. Fears are not permanent, okay? So uh, well, how did you do that? Because I was like, oh, I was like, Michelle, you probably kicked his ass, but you were cleaning the shoes instead of it. I'm sorry. You <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, kids. Well, yeah. So, no, no. They Listen, their parents are from Brooklyn. Yeah. Um, no, so... No, <laughs> after the third episode, after the Hill incident, right? Once I got once I got past it, I was just like, there will be nothing that's gonna stop me. Yes. Absolutely yes. nothing. Period. And so I was actually excited. They were like, Oh, we're jumping off a mountain. Bet and I'm down. <laughs> what are we doing? Yeah, are y'all going? Me too. Yes. Me too. I'm going, I'm going to. Sean, <laughs> sure go no, no, that was my theory. Was once you had survived the moderate sized hill, <laughs> anything was possible. Now, now hold on. There was nothing moderate about that. Right. There was nothing. Here. Actually, can I can I be honest? It felt like the paragliding was felt safer. Yeah. yeah. So so the thing is, while you're on that hill, when by the time Michelle and I got there, it, it was, was it was raining. It was muddy. It was raining. It was muddy, and we were on a slant going down. So what what happened was, it felt like I can slide, and there was nothing to grab onto. Period. If I can if I can hold on to something, then I'm good. I thought they was gonna tie us up. I was like, "Where's the but, safety thing, y'all? Where's right, the net?" Right. Michelle was like. <laughs> Yeah, Michelle was like, where's the safety thing? And I was thinking the same thing. I'm like, wait a minute. If we slide <laughs> off. It's a uh, we, free falling. <laughs> right, that's it. That's it. Sean, so, Sean, I'm glad you said this because I thought, as a viewer, I thought that your team and only your team had been required to wear rollerblades. So this actually explains <laughs> a lot. Don't be trying to play my husband, okay? This is this is my man, all right. But I will say this too: I was, um, y'all know, in other countries, there's not like these restrictions on leashes on dogs, and I had a fear of dogs. Had okay. In these other countries, dogs walk around like birds. Well, like you, there's you, no. You guys saw the dog on the escalator. Yes. <laughs> there's there's like no. South America, yeah. Yes. yes. In yes. Colombia, when we were running, there was a there was a pit bull, and Sean was like, "Michelle, we gotta go." Come on. Because I was like, "Babe, babe," I was like, "Babe, it's come on." Like I was, it's a, it's I was like, like when "What we happened?" Were in Brazil, a dog bit a cameraman in the market. Our cameraman. Yeah. And like they kept. <laughs> 
like it was insane but like your your fears are sort of just like i know it's so, a past fear but like you're right and like that was really i mean that was totally crazy but like yeah. it yeah. happened so john I so I, i've been, been petting dogs i've been petting dogs yeah. since <laughs> the amazing literally i have been before that i'd be like you keep over there i stay over here but i've been petting dogs so we the ro the cha the race has changed us 100 percent changed us. 1000 percent Sean, I think for Michelle's birthday, you should surprise her with a trip to a local dog park. Oh God, gra grass and dogs. Oh, I God, used to I hate the grass. Hate the know. grass. <laughs> hate the grass. Well, I don't know. Besides, like, besides if given the opportunity, would you do the Amazing Race again? <laughs> hundred percent. Yes. hundred percent. You know, it's, it's, it's two things, right? Right after the amazing race. No, I wouldn't have. He was like, uh, I was like, no, because, because the thing is I almost didn't go because our son was just started walking, just started walking. He was just turned one. And it was hard for me because I didn't want to be away from him that long because I didn't want him to forget who I was. Right. That's parents, like crazy stuff. Right. But I didn't want him to forget me. So I was just like, I don't know. The I, older kids were okay. Yeah. yeah the, kids, the older kids are like, they'll, they'll remember. But my son, <laughs> I was just like, uh, I don't know. But then we did it anyway. And kudos to people who talking about my chunkiness. First of all, my husband <laughs> loves my chunkiness. That's right. Second of all, That's I true. just had a first baby. Yeah, I had a third baby in four years. I had a third baby in four years right after the race called. That's why I was like, man, let me get a let me get in some shape first. <laughs> let's, let's go. So if I did the race again, I would be in better shape because I'm not having no more babies. And I would be you know what I'm saying? I would be able to better better prepare. I myself. would I would run more. I would, I would run, run more to prepare. <laughs> I'll tell you that. I would cool. run more. Cool. Let me just yeah. say, yeah, we we have talked a lot both like before this uh podcast we thought you all were going to be a massive threat like i said you i think you were and something yeah. some things just like didn't work out but like you know that i mean and as james said like it's not all about physical fitness but again I think, like, I, like I you're think, a double dutch team yeah like, I, I feel like parents do better it. at the race because you've learned how to communicate well and really in situations that are way more stressful and i had my money on you guys and all parents now that i'm a parent after having done the race because i'm like oh you go through shit you learn how to talk to each other and sleep that's right <laughs> things that are way more stressful like actual life is on the line you and have so to I was wrestle like, with this I, hall see michelle i had no idea that you had a <laughs> and that's incredible because I don't think I would have been like, let alone physical shape. Like I didn't start running until like really recently, and now I'm knocked up again. So like, fuck me. But um, <laughs> congratulations! Congratulations! congratulations. congratulations. But, like you were keeping up. Like I don't know. Like I'm. I, that yeah. sucks that people are saying that. Those people are dumb. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> people are haters. You're so gorgeous, yeah. and you two. I mean, absolutely, your personalities. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you two are just like. Go I, mine for I casting. You. you guys are great. Oh, thank, <laughs> thank you. you. Yeah, and like, thank you. Just, like I, I always root for like the parents too because it's like if you're gonna be away from your kids, you make yeah. your time intentional about being away. So it was like I and like you said, like your children are gonna watch this, and there are lessons that can be learned from like you know, just what's aired and whatever. So like, I love, I, I thought about that. I'm like, his kids are going to see that he overcame his fear. And that's just like, that's something that's worth more than a million dollars, like on the race. Mm -hmm. and so like, I, and like, yeah, but now that you went skydiving, like that's just insane that's to me. Awesome. Like that is insane to me. And what we, another thing we always tell our kids is like, just because you lose the game, you're not a loser. That's right. And so like always find the win. And so when we saw, when Phil said yes to teaching him how to jump double dutch. That was it. In less than a minute, we was like, you see, we lost the race, but you always look for the win in you anything that you do. Yeah, and so, so yes. Oh, oh we, Phil, we were so Phil, happy. Phil was down. He, he was, was down. We he, was like, Phil, come on. He Phil, said yes. Phil Ben said he was going to do it. Yes. Phil was down. He was and down. so we still Phil found the win. Even he it wasn't <laughs> jumping, he was like crisscross. I was like, damn, has he done this before? <laughs> no, we teach everyone. So double dutch aerobics is a formatted workout class. We certify instructors. Anywhere you see double dutch aerobics, that's our formatted workout class. And we teach and train people how to teach anyone in less than a minute. Yeah. This is where are you wait, located? Wait, wait. Where's your where's your double dutch thing located? 
So our, our studio is based in, we're based in Atlanta. Yes. Atlanta. So we're in Atlanta, Georgia, but yeah, but we have certified teachers around all, the, over. all around the country. Yeah, like yoga, so we're gonna, man. We're going to come to Atlanta. We don't want to go to Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah. Come yeah. on. We're going to go to the source, like single source, origin, local. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. also, let's just take a minute. So you're like the founders. Yes. Yeah, we're the creators. So George Washington right now. That was amazing. Yes. <laughs> Got it. Pretty much, we so, created yeah. double Dutch aerobic as a workout class. Yeah. Double Dutch aerobic so, is our right. So uh, I, we we yeah, yeah we obviously didn't create double Dutch, yes. but we created double Dutch aerobics. We're yes. the we're the only ones doing it in the entire world as a workout class, as a, as a fitness class, as a one hour workout class. Yeah. I love so, it. All right, the five well, of us are going to be there. Yeah. 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 Actually, actually, I, I, I was going to say, actually, the whole cast took our class. Took our class because we, we went on tour. We go on tour. Yeah, so Ricky oh, and Cezanne yeah. took the class. If you oh, saw on the God. Instagram, they have the pictures. Uh, Derek and Shalisa, Danny, everybody took the e class. Everybody took the class. Yes. Everybody took the class already. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, at the finale, we're going to all do it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we're coming. Oh, we're yeah, coming. We're yeah, we're, 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 we're coming. I know, right? We're Jesus talking about coming. In Atlanta, Atlanta. Yeah. With you all with teaching all dogs. the racers, they're not allowed to begin the amazing race until they have proven that they yeah. can do this thing. <laughs> That's what we want. That's what we want. Speak on it. Speak, Speak on it, all right? Yeah. Speak on we it. We would love to be a challenge. Well, Let's you two were a over. joy again to watch, and thank you for, for just the joy you bring to the show and welcome to the amazing race family. And thanks for hopping on the recap and, and hanging out with us. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'll say as one team that got eliminated also at a roadblock for a really long time. We call that, ourselves like, mid season here, boots. No, no, welcome no, no, no. to the family. I think it's the best way to go because it was all you and you tried as hard as you could. Like you have no regrets and you walk away and it's a classic, amazing like race way to get eliminated. Like as a, like as a, as a fan as myself a fan, going yeah. into it, I was like, this, this is the way I want to go out is trying really hard yes. and just failing. Just like totally right. failing. The best team. <laughs> exactly what I said. That's right. But James, I'm with you. One of my biggest fears was being the one that made your team get eliminated. But I was like, babe, do you still love me? Because it was all me. And he does still love me. So it was all right. It was all right. We lost. It was okay. It's okay. And we lost. That's all right. We were we were solidly we failed together. Yeah, two brains. We, <laughs> there was we, were, we were literally as we were being eliminated. We were like, uh uh. <laughs> <laughs> It's a great way to go. Next week, teams are traveling to Santiago, Chile, and a self-drive, which, Leo, I cannot wait to hear what you think about these teams driving, a hopefully, stick shift. Yeah. Um, they yeah. <laughs> the Thunderbird car and climb some rock climbing walls. But we always know that the self-driving legs bring the most drama on The Amazing Race, especially with navigation. So I cannot wait to see what the teams get into next week. Me either. All right, say bye to Phoenix. Bye. 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 <laughs> see you later. I can't wait to see you. Thank you. Thank you. See you guys. Bye. 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 All right, y'all. Well, incredible. thanks, thanks for hanging out with us, Laura and Leo and Alana. Thank you as well, and happy birthday, Leo. I hope this was a, yeah, a fun birthday, way to celebrate. Yeah. yeah, this was great. I'm on my second bottle. Yeah, he's, he's having a great time. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, now we get to go pick up our toddler. We're gonna okay. pick up, yeah, and then we're gonna go to a synagogue fundraiser. Yeah, we're where just... we're celebrating our next ninety years, which I know means my next ninety years. <laughs> I love this for you. I love. Love you guys, I miss uh, you all. Yeah, I it's so good seeing too. all of your faces. Take so much care. And we'll hopefully get together in person yes. real soon. Well, yeah. I'm gonna see you soon, James. You That's could... true, Laura. We will. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everyone. Thanks for hanging out all with right, us. Thank you. Love you. Until next time. Love you.